Raptor Lake, right? So it's been performing so well today, we're gonna give you a sneak peek. The first publicly, by the way. Yep, very first one. Now, you can see I have the Raptor Lake system here. It's a desktop system. This system features eight performance cores and 16 efficient cores for a total of 32 threads. Raptor Lake. Here's what you need to know about Intel's 13th gen processors that are to be officially released on the 20th of October 2022. Anticipated pricing is the top of the range 3900K for around $730, 13900KF $700, 13700K $520, remember the K means you can overclock. 13700KF $490, 13600K $350, and right at the bottom is the 13600KF for $330. So how are they going to perform in terms of benchmarking? Well, the official benchmarks are all embargoed until the 20th of October, but all indications from leaks and engineering samples are to expect around a 10 to 15 percent boost over Alder Lake. That's for productivity tasks, and maybe around 10 percent for single core gaming. So, in terms of the best process of the lot, it should be the 13600K, which should should just manage to beat AMD's Ryzen 7600X, that despite being priced 10 percent lower roughly at $300, lacks integrated graphics. So for gaming, the best value for money looks set to be the 6-core 13600K. Though AMD processors will have more cash than Intel, so AMD could, could edge ahead in some games. In terms of productivity tasks, AMD wins hands down. There's no competition. All the way down from the top at the 7950X, down to the 7700X, where Intel is like only be able to muster competition, you know, with this against the 7600X in single core gaming. Whilst elsewhere across the board, AMD just smashes Intel. As a reminder, the Ryzen 7000 goes on sale on the 27th of September, so not long now. And don't forget, you're going to need new motherboards for both. Especially AMD supply is going to be very limited. I think you're going to not be able to get hold of one for at least a few months. Anyway, in terms of which is the best processor, if you don't already know, you have to look at the stock charts. Uh, that tells you the tale of the rise of AMD and the fall of Intel. And yes, you need to zoom out of this bear market. That gives the illusion of similar drops in price to get the real picture of the magnitude of the catastrophic drop in Intel stock price. You know, not seen since 2016 that prices are just seven times earnings whilst AMD trades on 20 times earnings. So AMD stock and its tech are firing on all cylinders whilst Intel is fluttering along just firing on two out of six cylinders. Do remember to subscribe to for new tech videos. I'll see you in the next one.